Guys, look, look at the size of that ranch shoe. Oh, yeah, so that fish is unresponsive. That fish is dead. Um, unfortunately, a third DOA there. This bag actually smells very bad. I think this entire bag might be gone. Today we're getting 120 goldfish. We're going to Boston Logan Airport and we're getting another import from Thailand. I'm here with my girlfriend, Lily. Lily, say hi to the people. Howdy. Look at that. Oh, do it, do it. <laughs> okay, we are here at Market Basket. Time for some donuts and some coffee. And then we're gonna go get our fish. We got our donuts. All right, we got our Market Basket donuts here. Pretty good sized donut, honestly. These things are awesome. Mmm. That's a good donut. It's really rainy. We finally made it to the United Cargo Terminal. Uh, I'm gonna go in there. I'm gonna say, my name's Luke, I'm here for my fish, and uh, yeah. Stop scratching yourself. I got poison ivy, guys, okay? My legs are really itchy. <laughs> Trucking? No, no, no. What? Okay, we went in there, we paid you know, 500 bucks for shipping. <laughs> we, we got our little papers here, and now we're gonna drive the car up to the port, and they're gonna load the fish in the back of the car. Um, all right, I'm a little confused. Turn real quick, all right? Huh? Yeah, I'm, I'm, back. I'm gonna back in real quick. That truck was trying to get in, but I'm next. I, I, I got it. I got it. Oh, careful. Oh, yeah, careful. Don't drop. I'm not going to throw it off. Yeah. Oh. This one's real heavy. <laughs> Why is this one heavier than the rest of them? Oh. Oh, yeah. Big. Oh, crap. It's okay. The tender. Woo! Oh, those were a lot heavier than last time. Okay guys, we got the four boxes of fish in the back. There are a lot of fish in those boxes. Those boxes are very heavy. So now we're gonna drive all the way back home, which might take an hour. Then we're gonna unload the fish. And I'm gonna show you guys the beautiful things we got. We got, we got some of the most beautiful fish you'll, you'll ever see. As you guys can see, the conditions are very rainy with a lot of water. Okay guys, we made it home now. <laughs> oh, I feel like I'm, I feel like they filled this entire box full of water. This is why I've said, do not enter the goldfish industry if you don't go to the gym. You can't do it. You can't do it. This one is not as bad as the others. That's good. Okay. Okay, guys, I have made the decision to open these boxes outside of my home instead of lugging these things down to the basement because they are so heavy. So, so heavy. And if there are individual bags inside of here that might be a little bit lighter, that would be a lot. There we go. There are individual bags inside of here. Okay. Ow, guys. Look at these Arandas. Look at all the. <coughs> a bunch of beautiful red caps. All right, let's go in the basement. Let's go in the basement and set these in the tanks. All right. Okay, first three bags going in here. We let them float for half an hour at least. All right guys, check this out. So Lon from When Goldfish sent me this guy as a gift. It is a big golf ball pearl scale goldfish. Look at this thing. It's actually a lot bigger than the picture. So this is the same breed as Lil Dumpy. Look at that guy. He's a beauty. So thank you Lon from When Goldfish. Big shout out to him. Definitely go check him out. Oh man, we got all these Arandas. So far everyone looks alive and healthy. So that's great. Let's get all these guys. Let's get all these guys down. Okay, we'll get these guys and we'll lower them in here. We are now opening the second box of imports. First box, everybody looked healthy. 
And we got the one, we got the free goldfish from Lon, so thank you, Lon. And now, Lon is my trans stripper, by the way. That's why he was able to send me that free fish. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, we got some larger dudes in here. Oh, we got some, oh, oh my. Oh. Okay, some of those guys actually look in pretty rough shape. Some of those guys look in really rough shape. These ones look good. Uh, this, this, this one, I don't, I don't like the look of it. <sighs> All right, we're dropping them in. Okay. All right, we got these guys too. I'm just gonna set these right here, and then I'm gonna open up the next one and take some more bags. Open it up. Oh man, eyes here. There are so many. Some of them looking kind of rough. Some of them looking pretty rough. But let's get these guys floating. You know, a lot of them are stressed. Ugh. A lot of them are stressed right off the bat. Some make it, some don't. Looks like some of them in here are kind of stressed. Hold on. Uh, we're dropping these guys in here. We got more of these large red caps. More of the red caps. These ones are lightly packed, so it's a little safer for them when they're more lightly packed. Ugh. More Arandas. More red caps. I got a lot, a lot of red caps. Okay, guys, put them here. It's final box here. Come on, come on. It's, it's more boxes than I originally. Oh my gosh, guys. Look at the size of these ranchos, guys. Look, look at the size of that ranchu. Oh, oh my gosh. That's a high quality one too. Those are really high quality. Yeah. We got these guys here. We're lowering them in here. I, I'm filling in this tank up right now. I just emptied it out, putting fresh clean water for the imports. I have not been this sweaty in a long time. Let's go. This is the very last bag of imports here. We got the red cap arandas. I really do like these red cap arandas, they're really pretty. Okay guys, it has not been 30 minutes. However, unfortunately, a couple of these bags here have very, very little air. Like maybe the air must have leaked out or something. And in those bags with very little air, the fish look very, very rough. And I, I unfortunately do think we do have some DOAs, some, some dead on arrivals for this one. Um, yeah, so that fish is unresponsive, that fish is dead. I'm gonna be putting him in that bucket. This fish is responsive, but he's very, very stressed. So we're gonna release him there, but he's, he's very stressed. This fish is unresponsive and this guy's dead. Oh no, okay. This fish is responsive. He's very mildly respond. Yeah, he is responsive. All right, but he's very, very stressed. This fish, uh, I cannot tell. Uh, he's very mildly responsive. I'm just gonna give it a shot. This one is also very mildly responsive, but very stressed. Okay, and that's it for this bag. Two DOAs confirmed, other ones, other potential DOAs. All right, this one right here also. Again, there must have been a leak of oxygen and the guys in there look very, very rough. So, let's open this up. Dang it. Oh no. All right, yeah, unfortunately, a third DOA there. This bag actually smells very bad. I think this entire bag might be gone. A fourth DOA. This one is mildly, mildly responsive. So I'm gonna put him in there, but it's not looking good for him. This one is mildly responsive too. Ah. I don't know actually, so I'm just gonna leave him there, but it's really not looking good for him. Mildly responsive, so we'll put him there. This one's gone. This one's also gone. So that's, that's the fifth one confirmed gone. And that's all for this bag. And 
and, and you, you can smell it. For, for the bags that are not in good shape, you can, you can smell it. And okay, out of all the bags, those were the only two bags that appeared to be low air. I just checked all the other bags. All the other ones have, seem to have enough air. So I guess for some reason, those two leaked air. The seal was not good enough or something. And when that happens, the, the fish suffocate. So we're gonna let these guys acclimate for maybe around five-ish more minutes just to let the temperature fully acclimate. And then we'll start getting all them out. Unfortunately, you know, there was definitely DOAs on this one. On the last one we got lucky, we got not a single fish gone. Okay, so now I'm gonna be taking out the three large ranchos. So these ones, you know, whenever you're shipping goldfish, the larger it is, you know, a little bit riskier it is because they consume so much oxygen, the larger fish. Oh my gosh, guys. Oh, oh my gosh. This is, I believe this is the largest ranchu. Maybe he's bigger than Brad, I don't know. This is one of the largest and a great quality ranchu too. Look at the curvature on that guy. Double anal fins on him. Double anal fins on him or her? Oh, that's a him all right. Yeah, double anal fins on him, wow. Let's get this one right here. So we can see the skin on this one, a little bit red. It's not supposed to be red like that. So this one, you know, there's high ammonia in the bag, but again, seems to be pretty active, seems to be swimming upright, so that's great. Let's get ranchu number three. Oh man. Oh man, look at this beauty. That is a great quality ranchu with an amazing wen. Look at that. Wow, so ranchu number three also doing good. On to the next bag here. I think these are like the rose or orchid tails. Wow. Wow, so we got this number four, goldfish number four. Beautiful coloration on that guy. Goldfish number five, ooh, a jet black. A jet black, look at that. That is a beauty. I love the tail, wow. Number, this is number five, this is number five. Wow. Number six is just a tiny little smidge. Number six is a tiny little smidge. Number seven, wow. I love the colors on number seven. Look at the fins on number seven. Absolutely beautiful. Number seven's great. Miranda number eight. Beautiful. Number nine. I love these black and white colorations. Very pretty. And this one, I believe these are the pom-pom ones, or I don't even remember what these are. They're just these black chonkers. Okay, that's number 10. Got number 11. I believe these are the pom-pom guys. You see the pom-poms on his face? You see those big pom-poms? The black pom-pom, that's a... This is little fella number 12. This one's number 13, a real fatso. Number 14. Little mini guy, number 16. No, no, 15, 15. This one's 16 and its belly feels a little... Is it full of eggs? No, not full of eggs. Wow. Now we got little smidge number 17. Little lemon pepper, 18. Lemon pepper, big head on that guy, 19. Oh, I like this one. I like this one. This is number 20. Aranda number 20 is a beautiful fish. Wow. The 21, also a beautiful fish that feels like a female. She might have eggs coming pretty soon. This is little 22. On to the next bag here. Ow, ah, 23 is a tricolor Aranda. Very beautiful. 24, also a real beauty. 24 is a real beauty. Here we got 25. Wow, it's like a... 26, this reminds me of the little spot, the one I sold earlier. 27, cutie. He's a cutie. 28, he's a flipper. He's a little flipper. The last one we ended on was 28. Now let's get 29. So this entire bag is red caps, just white bodied red caps. 29, a beauty. 30, an atomic bomb, beauty. 31, another beauty. These are like all carbon copies of each other. 32, look at that guy. 33, boop, 
Okay. 34. Beauty. Okay. And now, so what was that, 34 that I end on? 35. 36. 37. 38. 39. 40. 41. That's all. 42, 43, 44, 45. Oh, look at that, a little black spot. 46, 47, and 48. 49, definitely a bit bigger. 50, 51, boop, boop. 52 and 53, <laughs> look at 52. Oh my gosh, 52. I love 52. And 53, all these red caps are beautiful. I love all these red caps. 54 is a little smidge. <gasps> okay, that's really unfortunate. Okay, so 55 is also, is also gone. Yeah, that's really, that's really too bad. That's really too bad, so that's the sixth one gone. 56 is okay. 57, wow. Well, co come close to this one. 57's eyes are like an alien. 57 looks like an alien. And 58, right there. Okay, on to the next bag. This one is Aranda number 59. Very beautiful Aranda. Aranda number 60. Ooh, 61, I like 61 a lot. Wow, guys, look at 61. Look at the when. Number 62. Very cute. Oh, 63 is really cool. I like 63 a lot. Look at that black body. That's a mustache. Is he? Is he a... F <laughs> Here we got a random number 64. I like 64 a lot, too. Wow. Look at the tail on 64. All right, on to the next bag now. So we got 65 and 66 here. We have 67 and 68. Come on, look at the thing. We got 69 and we have 70. And 71 has a very nice big one on him. This one is 72. <laughs> I, like, I like his head. We got 73, I think this is a pom-pom. 74, another black pom-pom. 75, another black pom-pom. 76, another black pom-pom. Look at the palms. So here we got 77. Now we got 78. Now we got 79. Here we have 80. Here we have 81 and 82. <laughs> wow. Now we're on to this bag over here. More red caps. We got a lot of red caps. Here we got 83 and we got 84. Here we got 85, 86, 87. We got 88 and 89. Here we got 90, 91, and 92. Wow. 93, a real beauty. 94, and a beautiful 95. Wow. I like 95. Here we got 96, here we got 97, 98, 99, and 100, 100, 101, oh, I, I like 101, I like 101, he's very pretty, wow, 101 is really pretty. Final bag of the, the multiple imports, 102, whoa. 102 has a nice mustache. <laughs> 103. Wow, I like 103. He's very, he's very unique. He's very ugly. I don't even know. <laughs> 104. Wow. 105 is just a little smidge. 106. Look at him. Oh. And 107. Is this another black pom pom or maybe it's a black Aranda? 
107 is very pretty. Okay, so now we're gonna open up our final little one. This one was a free gift from Juan. And also I forgot the first two bags, the one that had the majority of the dead ones, the five dead ones, we didn't count the live or dead. Um, so when we add up those, there's a total of 120 fish um, that were delivered here. Plus this guy makes that 121. So let's open up our 121st fish here. And man, I have not had a pearl scale since Little Dumpy. This is actually the, yeah, the 121st fish. Wow, guys, you see him? Here we got Little 121. We'll call him 10, we'll call him 108. Wow, he is a fat dude. He is a fat little pearl scale. Can I tell if it's male or female? Looks female. Fella looks female. Guys, look at this dude here. Look at this dude. And he's vigorous and strong. He's vigorous and strong too. Wow. 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 He is vigorous and oh my gosh. I cannot believe how large these ranchers are. This is just insanity. This is insanity right here. Oh my, okay. Okay, we got all the goldfish unboxed. We got them all in the tubs and they are slowly acclimating. As you can see, some of them are very stressed. Other ones are acclimating well. Um, we got a ton over here, ton in these tanks here. What I do wanna do is actually take some of these guys here and distribute them to some of the tanks over there. But we just got so much going on right now that I just wanna close out the vlog so I can focus on that. So thank you guys so much for watching. I will keep you guys updated on how these imports adjust. Uh, obviously this import did not go quite as good as the other one. The other one we had no deaths. This one, we did have six dead on arrivals here and actually two uh, during transshipping. Um, so that's eight total confirmed deaths. And then a couple others that are pretty bad, but you know, luckily after getting them out of the bags, none of them have you know, floated to the top. So we'll, we'll see how they do. Um, but yeah, that's all for today. Luke Scoldies out.